Hello and welcome everyone to Last Level Press, I'm Mr. Black and I come with news once again regarding Hawken, which is that its development has shifted from adhesive games to reloaded games, and the new devs are intent upon restoring this rusted old mech combat title to its once excellent condition. And that news really excites me, as I've grown increasingly worried for Hawken, as the old devs at Adhesive essentially abandoned it, and one by one, components of the game went dark. The community lost contact with the developers, the forum shut down, login issues started to affect scores of players' ability to even connect to the game, the list goes on. And yet, Reloaded are intent upon rebuilding what's broken down, migrating the game's servers to their own control, reinforcing server stability, reigniting the forum, which came online just a couple of days ago, and essentially re-establishing a solid foundation upon which to reconstruct Hawken into the game it still retains the potential to be. And so I've decided to record a quick episode covering the update to reinvigorate what interest I can in the game, and to knock the rust off of my own skills, which once upon a time I like to think were rather formidable. And if you're unfamiliar with this game, allow me to explain its essential components while I ready up for a match. Oh good, one of my favorite maps. The game is, thankfully, free to play, and features some of the most aesthetically interesting mech combat I've ever seen, reminding me a great deal of essentially a somewhat more industrial-looking armored core sans the sort of maneuverability endemic to that particular franchise, allowing one to accrue resources through gameplay and customize one's mech and indeed utilize different mech frames, which are of course specialized to different uh, effective strategies of use as one goes. And as I mentioned, once upon a time, I was actually rather skilled at this game, and damn, I've connected to a match near its very tail end. Oh well. At least that means I'll connect to a new match once this one closes. And one can keep up an essential uh, Momentum, oh god, oh god, assuming one doesn't run across the entire enemy team at once by collecting these little uh, glowing cubes which drop from the wreckage of uh, destroyed enemies which will repair your mech actively and one can also then find a cozy little corner shrouded and secluded somewhere on the map to actively repair one's own mech as well, essentially keeping you from having to slow things down over much and they're using the little repair animation there, as a celebration, you can use hollow emotes to rub rust in the wound of the wreckage of one's enemies. I'm actually decently close to achieving my next rank with both my mech and my overall account rank, and as I level the mech, I'll get some new customization pieces. I'm really looking forward to the new assault rifle. I'm not entirely sure whether I'll prefer it to the SMG I've currently got loaded into my assault mech. However, a little variety is always nice. And speaking of the assault mech, um, a quick little note I realized while reading through some of the update notes from the new devs at Reloaded, uh, one of the few mechanical updates they've already implemented into the game other than the um, background reinforcement of server stability and things of that nature is uh, changing the default new player mech from the CRT, the Fred, the essentially uh, legged microwave of a mech, which my older videos with this game do showcase, so if you're curious exactly what old Fred is about, check those episodes out, and replaced Fred with the assault mech as the default, and I'm actually kind of a fan of that, I know some are reeling against it, you know, with the usual sorts of accusations of I had to earn my mech, and yet I think it's actually a good move considering the game is now in a state of recovery from a stagnant uh, player base that was dwindling rather s dramatically. And so I think allowing new players which might have heard the news that Hawken is coming back from the dead, getting rebuilt, getting reloaded, um, and now trying the game out, will I think enjoy their early introductory period with the game a great deal more, utilizing a more interesting and satisfying mech like the Assaults, which is my mech uh, chassis of choice, than they would were they relegated to 
the adequate, however not particularly interesting, outstanding, or visually uh, aesthetically pleasing CRT. So I think it's actually a good move, and one that will hopefully incentivize new players or return players to continue on with the game and not abandon it again. Because it would just be a damn shame for Hawken to <laughs> get repaired from the scrap heap only to have lost all of its community interest and all those repairs to come to naught. Because this actual, actually is a very, very good game. And the fact that it's free to play continues to impress me. Along with the fact that, despite the fact that there are uh, paid elements to this game, they're cosmetic. The only thing one can uh, actually acquire with money in this game is either access to mechs that one would otherwise have to grind a bit to unlock, or cosmetic changes to one's mech, like new paint jobs, uh, different little repair drones which don't effectively function any differently, but look different. As in, uh, I believe when I first started the game, whoop, I was uh, rewarded with a few of the uh, paid currency uh, points such that I could afford one cosmetic item. And I chose to replace my repair drones with some new ones. Damn, damn, damn. Ah, I should have focused entirely upon one target. Instead, I got greedy and attempted to engage the entire squad. Okay, well, at least now with all the gunshots, the rest of my team knows exactly where they are. So, once I accrue a little damage, I'll demonstrate my new repair drones with their adorable little red lasers. I love them. Okay. Now then. Oh, contact high. Hi there. And another element of gameplay that dramatically changes depending upon which mech one is selected is that each mech possesses... Aha, there's one of the Healy bots. Let's actually repair right now. Repair. Repair. Okay, there we go. I got my keys mixed up. Repair, repair, repair! Nope, taking fire. Damn it. Each mech possesses a cooldown ability. The assaults... Ow. Eliminating the overheat of continual fire of guns, allowing one to essentially keep up sustained fire uh, much more consistently than any other frame, which is very good for engaging multiple targets at once. Because once your guns overheat, you've got to wait several seconds for them to come back online. Hi there. No, 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 no. Damn, damn. Like right now, activate the cooldown. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, come on, keep up fire. There we are. Wait a minute, that's. <laughs> I think I rammed his turret to death. Nope. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, you're almost dead. You're almost dead. I know. I know I'm making a greedy move. I want the kill. Come on. Down you go. Okay. Now repair. Come on, my little laser drones. I love you. You're adorable. Very glad I chose those, because I couldn't afford a complete black reskin of my mech, which is the other thing I wanted. So instead, I chose the drones. Ooh, hello. I'm going to be opportunistic and snipe you at a range. And you as well. Gotcha. I'm noticing an increase in the average number of assault mechs. I'm wondering if already new players are enjoying the new assault default. I certainly hope so. And I encourage any of you who might enjoy essentially the mech combat aspects of games like Titanfall to give this game a shot. It's actually remarkably smooth in its controls. I know one might expect a first-person mech combat game to feel very clunky and sluggish. I know I certainly did when I first played, and yet it actually glides along very remarkably smoothly, which makes for a pleasant gameplay experience. Oh god, I just checked the radar, and I'm surrounded! Fall back, fall back, fall back! Okay. Of course, one has limited boost. Repair. And, oh dear god! Tactical teamwork is an essential must in this game, and I know... I uh, end up falling prey to this a lot when I record 
episodes of things because my attention is split. Uh, however, I know I end up kind of run and gunning in most FPS titles and not actually playing very well as a member of a team. I end up kind of lone wolfing it and that's not actually a very good strategy in this game. So, while I may not practice as I preach while recording, simply due to the split of my attention, I at least recognize my mistake and encourage you not to replicate it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes, damn it! Once again, I got greedy. Where am I right now? I'm on top of the team anyway. As I ought to be. For I am a mech pilot extraordinaire. Hero who? Certainly not hero you. E. G Gundam wing joke. A lot of you are a little young for that reverence. Which really makes me feel old, and that makes me sad. Why on earth did you deploy a shield essentially for me? Such that I am now safe from your teammates due to your ability. Oh, and in case I neglected to mention it earlier, which I'm all but certain I did, um, internal components allow one to essentially fine-tune and tweak the protective and defensive and even mobile uh, affecting settings and attributes of one's mech. And those, of course, cost um, in-game currency. However, they allow one to essentially customize a mech's performance to exactly the specifications one wants. And one of those includes essentially burnable items which are usable once per spawn. And my current loadout includes, ow, ow, and essentially like a mech grenade, as semi-ridiculous as that sounds. It's not tremendously effective given that mobility is incredibly quick paced in this game and so one's essentially got to be at point blank range to deploy it effectively but at that range it can devastate an enemy that's already reeling from damage ah crap all right all right go retreating i've got to chase you down and i think your ally is giving chase as well fine you want some you want to go let's go Let's take this outside, where we already are. Have a grenade! No, 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 no. Yes! Good. Oh no. Oh no, you didn't notice me. You did not notice me. Right? Willem! Willem with me, Riggs! Willem with me! Another old ass reference that all of my younger viewers will miss! No, no, no. Oh, come on. Come on. I can take you. I can take you! I know I can! Ow! I know I can't, and I should have retreated. I am incredibly hyper-aggressive in this game, and I need to curtail that. Because this game rewards essentially uh, opportunistic warfare, and it's why I tend to thrive a little more on team deathmatch than in just a free-for-all deathmatch mode in this game. Once I really get into the zone with Hawken, I end up... Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I end up utilizing a... Oh, there you are. A very mobile strategy in which I essentially allow the enemy to get tangled in gunfights with my allies and then finish them off and back up my allies on a mobile basis. Ow! rather than attempting to one-on-one -on -one each enemy mech as I come across it, which I recognize is not a particularly refined strategy. However, it seems to be working relatively well considering I'm a margin ahead of everyone else on my team, which I'll accept. With 35 seconds remaining, I dare say, I'll reclaim my throne, sweet revenge. Good, good. I've killed my nemesis. Hi there. How are you? Double kill. I am dominating. Good, alright. Now, I'm returning to my old fray instincts. Oh, oh dear god. No, no, no. No, no, no. Damn. Only one. Ten seconds remaining. I'm not sure I can get another kill. Nope. Okay. 
Anyway, I think that serves as an adequate demonstration of exactly what one is in for. Oh, I love that police reskin of the assault mech. I had completely forgotten about that. I love the look of that. Anyway, damn. Despite my outstanding performance, <sighs> I carried the team, and yet, ours was a failure. Damn. Anyway, Hawken, free to play, mech combat, FPS, which I very much enjoy, and I think I've ranked up. New customization available, moderate tactical devices, radar scanners. Roger that! And I've gained new. Was that mech rank or pilot rank? That was pilot rank. I'm only a minuscule margin away from a new mech rank. Anyway, let's leave match and very quickly, for the sake of demonstration, check the garage in case anyone unfamiliar with this game is wondering how the customization works. So, I've now got actually multiple mechs, uh, one of which is a secondary assault mech, which I only acquired uh, this evening as a reward from a promotional code redeemed from uh, the, I think, Steam news feed of Hawken on Steam. Uh, and so if any of you guys are curious and want a fully loaded free assault mech, go and check that out and redeem that code. I've not given this thing a test flight whatsoever. Um, I may do that in another episode, essentially to test whichever the default loaded assault actually is. However, let's return to my usual and check my equipment. And of course one can check all of the minutia of performance, as well as make upgrades with multiple different types of items, which also uh, possess multiple tiers in terms of quality. Consumables are a thing, which I rarely use, however they are available. And new mechs are rather pricey, however, not entirely unreasonable. Um, you're looking at a couple of days worth of dedicated play in order to unlock a new mech. And while it's at the upper ceiling of what I consider a reasonable grind, it's not in the pay-to-win range, I don't think. Like I said, one can acquire uh, certain mechs and equipment in this game using either in-game currency or paid currency, these Meteor credits. I'm anticipating that to change, as I'm not entirely sure whether Meteor still owns the game or not. They may still publish the game, and it may, it may simply be the development studio that has shifted. I'm not entirely certain. Either way, I would not consider this game at all pay to win. It's simply a little grindy when it comes to unlocking. Premium items are not a concern in this game. And so, again, I recommend anybody who's a fan of mech combat games, like the old school Armored Core titles, of you know games like Titanfall, and just a little something new, a little something refreshing and interesting in the FPS genre. It may be a little dated, however, I still very much enjoy Hawken, and I encourage you guys to give it a new shot, as I anticipate some uh, very exciting new things to come out of reloaded games acquisition of the, uh, you know, control of the game. It sounds like uh, the team with, I believe, Captain Josh is one of the main uh, team leads in charge at Reloaded, and they seem to have a good deal of confidence for moving forward. They're getting very involved in their own community, hosting regular live streams in which they host Q&As with viewers, and so uh, they're... Uh, I'm not going to say retaining, because it's a new thing. Um, they're allowing for a degree of transparency, which I don't believe ever existed for this game under Adhesive's banner, and so I I'm excited to see that, as it communicates a tremendous amount of good faith in terms of their connection to their community. And so I applaud their efforts thus far and wish them the best moving forward. I'm Mr. Black here at Lessable Press, this has been Hawken, I encourage you guys to go and check it out. As always, I wish you all good gaming and Godspeed. Oh, Jesus! Hi!